Hello to the side and back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Toki Uzuru, also known as Toki. And in today's video, we're going to try to start a new series or a new mini series within a series where I go ahead and talk about the five love languages. And this video specifically is going to be why I decided to go ahead and do this video. So how did I start with figuring out how this this was going to be today's video as i am still trying to troubleshoot something for a different video i was laying down and watching someone talk about how much they really love their hair so my brain just decided to go ahead and go off on some sort of railroad train to i don't know where anymore and I ended up thinking about my personal experience with loving me in general. But it had me thinking. I first thought what would probably be, be best is for me to go ahead and do a list of the things that I like about myself or that I love about myself. And then somehow my brain ended up going to anything. The only reason why I stress eat is because of the fact that there's so much love that gets put into materialistic things or food in my family. Like they love to go ahead and show the fact that they love each other by giving gifts or giving food. That's not how I show um, love or appreciation. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to say this now. If you end up hearing any type of noise, it's because the Terminex people are probably going to be spraying around the perimeter of the house, right in the middle of me filming. Now on to the actual background on what I was thinking and why I wanted to do this video so much. Because of the fact that I'm usually on therapist TikTok, psychologist TikTok, or self-care TikTok. I heard a lot about um, there being different love languages and I didn't do research back then because I didn't, I thought it was just gonna end up popping up on my For You page on TikTok. But I still kept the idea of there being more than one way to show um, one way to show that you love someone in the back of my mind. And as I'm trying to find the root to my stress eating and emotional eating so I can go ahead and figure out different ways of how to stop it. One of the things that my family is well known for is giving gifts to the people that they care about. So whether it's like thank you notes, um, thank you baskets, going home with a good bag of like goodies from grandma's house because that happened a lot in my childhood but basically they would go ahead and try to get you stuff that they know you would like and one of the things that they find one of the things that they find very difficult is finding things that i like because of the fact that i don't usually talk about um anything materialistic so I started thinking about 2 plus 2 started equaling 4 instead of fish for me. And I started thinking, what if there's just a mis miscommunication when it comes to love languages? Instead of tangible things, I would like to go ahead and have experiences that could also be linked to tangible things that will remind me of those experiences. Sir, you are scaring the heck out of me. With this information, I thought I would go ahead and try to explain the different types of love languages and how you can show whoever has said love language that you care for them. So I was thinking, while I'm doing the research on the five love languages, which are words of affirmation, physical touch, receiving gifts, quality time and acts of service, I thought I would go ahead and make it into an entire video series just to go ahead and help out anyone else that would need quick help. So these might end up being 
shorter videos than I'm used to doing because I will only be explaining what it is and how to deal or how to show the person that you actually do care about them that has said love language. I will also have in the description below a um, love language quiz where you can go ahead and figure out what your specific love language would be. So of course, I ended up getting quality time as my dominant one. And now that I think about it, after everything that I just said in this video, it makes sense. And now that I'm done with talking about the background of this, I can do my stereotypical YouTuber outro, where I, as a stereotypical YouTuber, would ask you to do the following. If you would enjoy today's video, then why not go ahead and hit the like button? It, it actually does matter. Specifically, your interaction with this video can get this video out to so many different people. Please subscribe. I don't have a reason yet, but I will. I am working on um, Disney's vs. Origins Pocahontas, which is going to be very entertaining to say the very least, and might end up be me ranting. And I will also be trying out new videos such as like story times, videos talking about specifically plants and what I do to care for them, or anything that has to do with um, spirituality. I love, I love doing the research for those videos. Hit the notification bell and turn it to all notifications just to make sure that you are here whenever I post a video. Comment down below if you took the test what your love language is or what you would be excited to go ahead and learn more about as we go through how to function like an actual human being, aka things that they didn't teach you in school. And with that being said, I gotta get out of here because I gotta do more research and clean up a bit. I do hope you enjoyed this, today's video and getting to know a bit more about me, something that I didn't think I would actually end up doing as a video, but it's kind of like the stereotypical YouTuber all about me video while putting my own twist to it so it's not just about me. There's a reason why I talk about it. Start tracking over. I've been Tokiko Uzuru, and this is me saying Toki, out.